Welcome to Coach's Corner with University of New Hampshire women's ice hockey head coach Brian McCloskey. Hi, welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Phil Kincaid for the Friends of UNH Women's Hockey, and I'm here with head coach Brian McCloskey. Well, Coach, this last week, and I think was probably the most entertaining back-to-back home games I've seen in the nine years I've been following this team. Two rousing victories against the number one team in the country, the defending champion, uh, University of Wisconsin. Uh, so many great things happened during those two games, it's hard to pick one. What do you take from that series? Well, it, it was a great series. Clearly, uh, we were fortunate enough to come out with two wins. Um, I think what I take from it is that uh, mostly is just the fact that that was playoff caliber hockey in November, and uh, those are two teams that I think certainly uh, Wisconsin being the two-time defending champ are going to vie for for uh, all the marbles at the end of the season. So um, clearly uh, two strong, strong teams that matched up just as we expected very, very well, both tight games. You know, we uh, we created our opportunities. Maybe playing at home was an advantage for us, um, but we took advantage of, of being in our own building. And uh, I thought the team uh, elevated. I thought both teams elevated in uh, over the course of the six periods and played some outstanding hockey. And uh, you know, it was uh, it wasn't relaxing because uh, the game hinged on a you know mistake here or a bounce there. And uh, we were fortunate enough to create our opportunities at the right time and and get the wins. What struck me is that uh, two cases, uh, third period, you're down less than six minutes left in the game, you're down yeah. by a goal, you rally for two yeah. quick goals, take that uh, victory. Then on Sunday, uh, you're ahead one nothing. they score, and then you come right back and take the lead back. There was a, a certain amount of resiliency there, a mental toughness that yeah, the team showed. I agree totally. Um, Saturday, uh, you know, the third period, I, I think our, our team felt like, they deserved a better fate, and uh, they, they made sure that they got it. On Sunday, when we got up one nothing and they scored in the third, you kind of felt like the tables were turned. Um, but as you noted, I, you could see our kids really buckle down once the game became tied in the third and uh, created some tremendous scoring opportunities for themselves uh, in the, in, in, later in the third and, and were able to capitalize on one of those and come away with the win. But, uh, you know, back and forth hockey, five on five, uh, both sides uh, creating situations that uh, or opportunities for themselves or putting pressure on the other team, um, special teams uh, were huge uh, just because... It kind of came out to be a wash. They scored a power play goal against us on Saturday. We got one on them on Sunday. But uh, I think maybe more than anything, what I came out of the weekend was our special teams are clearly becoming a very, very uh, critical part of our team success, which has been a trademark. Well, what the players talked about uh, after Sunday's game was that they they recognize they've had some problems in back-to-back games coming out of that second Sunday game yeah. and being mentally sharp. Yeah. Uh, certainly, Wisconsin turned it up a notch on Sunday, they did. and it seemed as if you guys matched that intensity. And so, for them, it was a, a, a victory of you know what it takes mentally to play. I think that's very, very true. I think. Uh, one of the uh, toughest parts about two game sets is whoever wins night one has, uh, you know, a natural, uh, I, I guess, tendency to, to perhaps come into night two feeling a little bit comfortable, and the other team's feeling a little uncomfortable. There was out, there was no doubt that Wisconsin uh, jumped it up on Sunday, and uh, to their credit, uh, our kids uh, responded, uh, matching as you say, and in some cases, uh, I thought, you know. I don't know that we outcompeted them, but we we certainly matched them, and uh, and and those are the kinds of things that you know come the end of the season. It's only November, but when you get get there, having been there before, um, that's the level of intensity that you're going to see, and uh, to see our kids handle it the way they did it was very impressive. One more key thing that I thought of, uh, you can see it on the score sheet, and even the players mentioned it after Sunday, and that is the, the senior leadership yeah. seemed to make a difference in these two games as well. It did. You know, there's nothing like experience, and uh, I, I think our seniors have done such a great job elevating this year, especially uh, in the, in, in, I, I guess, in the face of having such a talented group of underclassmen and freshmen uh, around them. and. Uh, uh, they provided us with just tremendous leadership all weekend long. I was really, really happy. Uh, but I've been, been, you know, very. Our whole staff's been pleased with the the way our seniors have handled themselves this year. And uh, I think we're getting the kind of leadership you need if you're going to 
challenge for a championship. Okay, well, we've had a day to savor it. Now it's time to move on to the next opponent. <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> yeah, 24 hours. Yeah, and uh, now there's more important things to move on to, and that's Niagara coming in yeah. for a pair of games this yeah. weekend. What do you expect from them? Well, Margo's got a great team. Uh, they went out and swept at North Dakota, and, uh, you know, they're, I think they're 6-2-2. Two, and two. Um, we, know, we know from past years they've got uh, Ashley Riggs, and, who's a dynamic player. They just got. They'll be a very strong team. They play. You know, she's a good coach. They do a lot of things well. They've always played us competitively, and uh, you know, you don't like you say you don't get a whole lot of time to uh, relax. It's it's. This is sort of the first half crunch, and uh, you know, again, because we were successful on the weekend, you get the big bullseye, and we've had that experience before. So uh, I think we're looking forward to playing again, and. Uh, building on what we did this past weekend. Yeah, let's all hope that some of those 1,200 fans that came out for each game over this last weekend to see Wisconsin will turn out uh, to see Niagara play because it certainly is some very entertaining hockey that's going on here you know, right now. Is, and we really appreciated the fan support. It's been great. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, you, as a coach, you said to me after the game, those are great games to watch. You don't get to watch them the same way. But uh, you, you know when you're involved on the bench uh, with, uh, you know, classic matchups and, uh, uh, those were exciting games. Great, Coach. Thank you very much. We'll be back next week with another edition of Coach's Corner. That's it for this week's edition of Coach's Corner with UNH Women's Ice Hockey Head Coach Brian McCloskey.